So, hello to all my YouTube subscribers. Uh, this is going to be a review of the Smooth 4. But it's not, well actually it's not going to be a review. There's been, a, there's a million reviews on YouTube, on Gimbals. And uh, so, I'm not going to be an un doing an unboxing. I've had this now for, I don't know, a month, month and a half. It's a great, great gimbal. I would imagine all gimbals pretty much do what they're supposed to do, stabilize your videos. And uh, so I'm not doing an unboxing. And I'm not going to teach you how to use it. There's plenty of videos doing that. What this reviews, actually it's not a review. What it is going to be is uh, informing you of some design flaws that I find in this gimbal particularly, because this is the one I've been using and working with. But uh, a design flaw that I see in all gimbals, and nobody seems to be talking about it. So I don't know if they really use these things or they just make believe they use them when they uh, do their videos or what. But uh, I've got a couple of issues with gimbals. I'm using this one because it's the only one I got, the only one I've used. But I've seen all the videos on all the gimbals on YouTube. They're all basically designed pretty much the same. Yeah, this one has the little knob here for focusing and a lot of gadgets and a little doodads. And a lot of them a lot simpler. But they all basically have the same design, same exact design. And they all advertise that you can charge your phone while you're using the gimbal. Isn't that wonderful? You can plug your phone in and plug it into your gimbal and charge it while you're using it. Sounds great, right? Yeah, well, don't believe it. They don't work that way. Uh, what's the other issue? Let me see if I can remember. I haven't been studying. I don't write nothing down. I do everything on the fly. So, oh yeah, the other design flaw. That's right. Why do I find it to be a design flaw with the charging problem? Well, here it goes. I have a wire somewhere. But seeing how it doesn't work, uh, I should probably should get another phone. But anyway, here's the issue with the plugging it in. Let me go and get a phone. We'll shut this down and connect it to the next video. I wasn't prepared, but we usually go on the fly with what we got, trying to get the light out of my glasses. So uh, we back back in a few. We're gonna borrow my wife's phone. I'm videotaping on my phone, and I'll show you what the issue is with charging your phone on a gimbal. And then now uh, the other little issue is this little knob in the back. This is where you connect your phone. There's a little knob on the back. They might all have it in a different place. Where you can uh, adjust this little knob here and set your phone up so you can do portrait shots. Instead of long wise, you can shoot upside, up, up and down. My technology is not the greatest. I'm a novice. I'm not a professional. A lot of people on YouTube do gimbal and photography stuff and everything and uh, they seem to know what they're talking about. I may be wrong. Correct me if I am. But this is where I got the issues. These are my two issues. And I'll give you a little more when I get the phone and I'll try to show you what the problems are. New York Regan signing off for two seconds. Be right back. Stand by. Okay, so we're finally back. And uh, raise the mic up a little more previous video was a little low on volume, on my phone anyway, uh, so we'll see, I got to speak a little louder I guess, now, we got my gimbal set up, got the phone in the gimbal, as you can see it's balanced, nice and balanced, not turned on now, still turned off, got it on the tripod, but uh, it's balanced this way, okay, so that's a beautiful thing, ready to turn on. Now you have to balance this before you turn it on or you overheat your motors and burn out your gimbal that's what my limited with my limited knowledge that's what i've gotten over you too that it's preferably to balance this off have it balanced so when you turn your gimbal on it don't have to work so hard correct if not let me know okay now here's the issue in order to plug your uh, your cell phone 
a little plug right there. That's the plug goes, plug wire plugged in there. And then the other end of the wire, the other end of the wire, and this is where the issue comes. The other end of the wire has to go plugged in right here. Only problem is, is you gotta slide your phone up against here so you can't get to the plug. So now what happens is you gotta slide this out in order to plug your phone in. All right, okay, so now we'll plug the phone in. Well, we gotta take the phone out because that's the limited room you have. You plug your phone in. Beautiful, plug phone in, excellent. No problem so far, right? All right, so now we got the phone plugged in. Now here's where you come with your issue. Okay, now you got this big old plug here. You can't slide your phone into here, right? So now what we have is no balancing. So now if you turn your gimbal on with, uh, yeah, the other wire goes uh, plugged in on the bottom over here. I ain't got the right wire. I ordered the right wire, brand new in the package. You can't find it. Got a million wires, big old bag full of wires, million wires, never can find the one you need. You all probably got the same problem. Okay, so now, so there we go. We're out of balance plugging this in. So we plug it into here, we'll be able to charge off the gimbal, right? Correct, oh, that's beautiful. But now what's the problem here? You slide this to balance, there's a little knob here for you to slide it in and out and all that and get it balanced where you can forget about that. Because once your phone is sticking all the way out here like this, you ain't gonna get no balance. All right, I know some people glue little balancing, put some stuff over here, weights and balances, yeah, that's all a bunch of crap. So this is gimmick about being able to charge your uh, cell phone with the gimbal, forget about it, it ain't gonna happen. That's bull crap, all right? So there's your first design flaw. You know, forget about design, the plugging your freaking cell phone in and plugging it into your gimbal and charging while you're videotaping. Because if you do, unless you come up with a gimmick, which I'm sure a lot of people can, right? I put all kinds of weights and extra stuff in here to balance this out before you turn it on, you're gonna burn out your gimbal. So that's the first problem, okay? You see how that foam slides up on there? That's where that has to be. Just like that, you got a perfect balance. You wanna plug your phone in and charge your phone to the, with the gimbal? Like they say, oh yeah, you can do this, you can do that. Bull crap, you can't do it. Ain't gonna happen, all right? So that's the first issue. Second issue, we got a little knob back here, most of gimbals. This is the gimbal four, mind you. But they have the same deal with the other gimbals. And uh, you're supposed to be able to loosen this up. And uh, again, we gotta slide this out. Right, let's just take the phone off. Okay, so we can take portraits. Let's see now, we can fool around with this. Here we go, now we can, there we go. We wanna put this like this, tighten it up, all right? Well, I guess if you're taking a portrait, it don't have to be, well, if you wanna take, want take a video with your camera like this, therein lies the same issue, balancing, okay? You put your phone in, what they, they, they spin it around so you can mount your phone this way, in the gimbal. But then again lies the same thing. No matter how you try to adjust it, you loosen the knob, you slide, you slide, uh, you slide, uh, what's this here now? Okay, maybe we're gonna make a liar out of me, maybe we're gonna figure out a way to do this. Okay, we slide this all the way in. And what, this slides out here? So we can slide this. Uh, slide this over here. Slide it in. Oh, maybe we'll, we'll get a little balance going here. So maybe I'm wrong on this one. Let's see. Uh, so it seems that uh, this thing here. Okay, so this actually does slide. This mounting bracket actually does slide slightly one way or the other. So that's good. But well, now maybe we can get a little bouncing here. We pull this out here this way. 
Okay. So you got two ways of mounting. This bracket slides. Oh, good. Okay, so we only have one design floor. Yeah, that's not a problem. Problem is getting this to balance like that. So it does bounce because besides the sliding bracket that you have back here, where you can slide slide this portion here, you can see that where that slides in and out. So besides that balancing section you have there, you can actually take where the phone, this piece right here, can actually slide one way or not, in and out, which I've never seen anybody show that. So that helps you with the balancing when you're mounting the phone this way. So you actually can balance, balance it this way. So that's not a design flaw there. They, 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 they compensate it, there you go, it's balanced. So we only have one design flaw to complain about, and that's uh, balance. Cool. See, I just found this trying to explain to you what the problem was. I moved it around, and there, there, there's a, this, this bracket that holds the phone actually can slide one way or another, which allows you, so you have two ways of sliding and balancing this all out when you want to do the portrait type of photographs. I guess that's what you call it, the up and down, whatever. Okay, so that's good. So we can turn it on. Let's get the turn on thing. We got this balanced pretty good. Yep. That's balanced. Yep, so we can turn the gimbal on. We'll button around here somewhere. And uh, there you go, it's turned on. We got a good balancing, so that works. I've been all, I don't know, people are all trying to show you all kinds of videos showing. I ain't never anyone show me that you can slide this little bracket that holds the phone one way or another. Nobody's ever shown me that. So that's good. I just found that out myself. So a little something for you if you're having problems with the balancing thing. So you got two ways of balancing your phone out when it's up and down. You slide the, slide this section here. This section here has a little knob on the back right here. And you unloosen this knob and slide this. There you go. Slide this. The whole thing moves and that brings your weight well right now it's turned on so i don't want to leave it alone i'm going to turn it off i just took it out of balance yep see out of balance okay so we slide this back in here and uh that's no change over we'll balance so we lock this wheel up back here and then if you're still having balancing issues then you slide this piece right here that holds the phone actually moves has a little adjustment there so that helps with the balancing there but um the deal with charging the cell phone with your gimbal man you know i see most gimbals most gimbals say there are a lot of gimbals now say most i don't know anything about most gimbals actually i've only worked with this smooth force smooth force is an excellent gimbal i love it it has app issues with an android cheap phone no biggie we work around that so uh, there we go. So that's my issue. That's my design flaw. The cell phone, cell phone, you cannot charge your cell phone from the gimbal. That just ain't gonna happen because you gotta slide your cell phone up against the bracket on the gimbal and that covers up your freaking plug for the charging cord. And if you slide your phone all the way out and try to plug it in and do that, then you've got a balancing problem and you're going to burn out your gimbal. So there we go. There goes a little information on uh, this gimbal thing here. I ain't got too much experience using it. A little bit I've done. It works great. Love the balancing. It stabilizes the cell phone really great. Got no issue with that. Got a lot of learning to do on using it. It does all kinds of goodies and stuff. Everybody shows you what it can do, what it can't do. And uh, so I hope that helps you, man, if you're having issues with your gimbal, it's a gimbal for a gimbal or any gimbal. You're going to have to come up with a gimmick. And they got gimmicks up there for adding weights and putting, uh, putting uh, lenses to balance it out and so forth and so forth. But, you know, unless, unless they come move the plug or come up with a plug that you plug into the phone and then twist down a little bit so you wouldn't, you know, right now you plug it and you got a big old chunk of, stuff right there that separates me got to bend the make a new cable with a little less gap there or something to help a little bit so anyway i hope this here uh, video here was a little help to somebody 
helped me. I learned something. I know I only got one design floor. I had two. So the only issue is the charging your cell phone from the gimbal. Don't count on it. Don't bet on it. Unless you're somebody that can do some really good jimmy rigging, which I am. But uh, I prefer not to. You know, uh, they talk about how cheap it is. Maybe it's cheap for some people, but uh, it's over 100 bucks. 140 bucks ain't all that cheap for me. That's why I only have one. I wish I had one that had 360. Actually, I would like one that I could be videotaping stuff and then have it spin around and I could talk into the camera. But right now, I got to move the whole gimbal around. It's not cool. So a 360 gimbal would have been nicer. So this one don't do 360. So will I get another one down on the road? Well, man, no time soon because uh, I got better things to spend my money on. I just do this for pleasure and entertainment. And uh, to let my, uh, my uh, ancestors in the future want to see what their great-great-great-grandfather or their ancestors in the past did with their time, here you go. This is what I'm doing with my time. So there we are right now, New York and Nang. Nang's over there watching some videos, chilling. And uh, we're putting a new roof on the outside of the house here pretty soon. So I'll be working on the new kitchen. So we can start bringing you some kick cooking videos and recipes. And uh, it'll be trying to focus in on a lot of that <clears throat> once we get the new kitchen built. Right now we got a tiny little kitchen. They're always throwing me out of the kitchen because there ain't enough room for the both of us. So about me videotaping, her cooking, uh, it's a little difficult in a very tiny kitchen. But uh, come the first of the month, we got a crew coming in. They're going to put it in a new roof outside. We're going to build a new outdoor kitchen. And uh, then we'll be able to do our uh, cooking videos. And you'll see Nang on camera more often. But Nang is always back, uh, watching my back, always covering me, always telling me, Papito, watch your step. Because I'm always tripping over everything. I've become real clumsy, clumsy in my old age. So uh, God bless her. She's always looking out for me. And uh, I'm going to put her on camera because she's going to look a lot prettier than I am. And I uh, bet I'll have a lot more views. So far, I got 33 subscribers. Not very many people letting me know they're out there, uh, you know, talking to me or leaving messages on my YouTube channel or saying, hey, how you doing? Love your videos. No family, no friends. I'm lucky, I'm lucky I got one or two subscribers that are, are strangers who really love my work and are always uh, commenting on my videos and giving me suggestions and help. And I really do appreciate them and uh, would appreciate anyone else who'd let me know if you're out there. If you like my work, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, like my work, and uh, hope you have a good life, and uh, stay entertained, and uh, live long and prosper. Adios from Bangkok. No, no, we're not in Bangkok anymore. We're in Yasatan. We're in uh, farming country. I always say Northwest, but it's not Northwest. It's Northeast Thailand, off the quarter, quarter off the, 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 anyway, we're right next door to Laos, Laos, or wherever. So here we are in Asia. And uh, in the future, we plan to bring some videos of uh, China, India, Australia, uh, Singapore. Oh, we got a lot of beautiful places in the neighborhood. South Korea, plenty of places to visit close by. And uh, we hope to have some time here in a year or so. If we uh, catch up on uh, on things, and we look forward to sharing those experiences with you. Right now, uh, most of the experiences I'm having is a whole lot of work, and uh, I don't think watching me work is all that exciting. So I don't do too many videos about that. I show you some of what I've done, but other than that, that's it. So okay, I'm signing off. This is long enough. I hope the sound is good. Uh, there's uh, two pieces I'm going to put together and uh, I'm going to post it right now. So uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and uh, have your friends join me. And uh, I'm trying to do more videos. Going on a little trip tomorrow. Maybe I'll do some videos driving down the road and check out this stabilizer in a car and see how it works out. If I tilt my head right and keep the light out of my eyes or the camera out of my eyes, it's a whole lot better. <laughs> so anyway, New York and Nang signing off to Link Time. See you.